So this demo is about uh, bringing a new version of uh, modernized car user guide and experience that is going to be utilizing generative AI inside the vehicle. In the old way of utilizing car user guide, one would have to use a physically printed manual, car user guide manual, or they have to go to the car maker's website to look up that information about car specifications, features, and whatnot. So the new way of doing business is to basically make the car user guide available as a generative AI application within the vehicle powered by a small language model. And I'm going to be showing the approach of how this entire application was first developed on AWS Cloud, and then how it was taken and deployed onto an edge device. The ARM virtual hardware provides the ability for anyone to simulate various physical devices without the need for having their physical device. This significantly accelerates your development time. Imagine if your team has you know, hundreds of developers around the globe and they're all developing applications targeting a physical device, they all don't need to get a physical device. They can go into ARM virtual hardware, which is a collaborative approach from Corellium, ARM, and AWS together. And we have, first of all, taken a tiny Llama large language model. We have taken it into Amazon SageMaker. We have added automotive car user guide specific data. We have fine-tuned that model. We, can, we have taken that output. Initially, the output was very large. It was over two gigs in file size. That file size is not conducive for it to be deployed over the air to the edge device. So we have taken it through an approach called quantization, where the large file gets compressed into a smaller file size. The resulting file size was about 620 megabytes. And in the process, when collaborating with ARM, they helped us with further performance optimizations through their Clyde AI. And it was so seamless for me as a developer because I didn't even have to touch the Clyde AI myself because Clyde AI was already pre-integrated into popular open source libraries such as Llama.cpp and PyTorch. In my particular case, I was already using Llama CPP and I had to invoke the same exact command to quantize the model to make the file size smaller. And behind the scenes, because ARM had already integrated Clyde AI optimization into Llama CPP, it was all transparent to me. The optimizations kicked in. And when I took that model and deployed it into the actual physical device, it initially, without the optimization, it used to take anywhere between 19 to 30 seconds for a simple question to be answered with the Clyde AI optimization, as well as the um, uh, vector optimizations that ARM has released for Cortex A76 and newer model chips, the entire response comes back in less than three seconds. So that's the level of ease and benefit Clyde AI brings about to the overall development experience. And this application now is voice enabled, and I'm gonna be interacting with this application by speaking with the application and asking it questions about car specific features. What is my fuel tank capacity? Processing, one moment. Dot the fuel tank capacity is 15 gallons. What is the height of my car? Processing, one moment. That the height of the car is 65.4 inches. As we can see, I asked the GenAI application a couple of questions about vehicles, features, and specifications using natural language. And the responses that we got back was really, really fast. And that's because of the optimizations that ARM has released as part of its Clyde AI project into popular libraries such as Llama CPP, which is exactly what we are using in this application.